Kane Revive. So I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I'm not in love with the Crocs or the Yeezy Foam Runners. So I've been looking for a little while now for a replacement for those two shoes, those two mules, clogs, whatever you wanna call them. Um, so I ended up seeing an ad for these on Instagram. Of course, Instagram ads got me. Um, but yeah, for, for a long time, I've just been looking for a shoe of this type, but with a better silhouette, a slimmer, more sleek sil silhouette than the foam runners or the Crocs. Obviously the Crocs are super bulky, clunky, and they have an open back. The foam runners fixes the open back issue, but they have a really, really futuristic kind of funky design that I'm not super in love with. Some parts of the shoe I really, really love other parts I don't. Then you have the aspect of price, resale value, exclusivity, availability, et cetera, et cetera. I can go on as far as the foam runner goes. As far as retail goes, I think they're probably worth it. I probably wouldn't pay resale for them. But again, I was kind of hoping initially that they would release a another model similar to the foam runners, but with a more sleek silhouette in the front. They haven't done that to date. So you know, I pretty much got tired of waiting. And when I found these, I was just like, okay, cool. Let me pull the trigger, try them out. So this is what I'm gonna be reviewing for you guys today. Um, as you can see, there's holes all throughout the upper. Um, this is a white with the cream bottom. White on top is almost kind of grayish when you compare it to the cream on the midsole. Really, really simple silhouette, as you can see. There's not too much going on, which I kind of like. On the inside, the Kane name branding on there. There's also these nodes that stick up, it's supposed to stimulate blood flow while you're wearing and walking around in these. These are an active recovery shoe. So essentially post-workout, uh, not to say you couldn't work out in these, but there are better footwear as far as working out. So this, you know, for what it was intended for is for post-workout essentially. The midsole is super, super supportive. Um, so it's a little bit more firm than like Boost Technology, let's say, uh, which as a post-workout shoe, that makes sense. You some, we want something that's more supportive. Um, there's no actual like removable insole inside at all. It's just like one piece upper as far as that goes. And then you have this cream colored midsole. Um, the outsole is pretty basic as well. Not much to talk about. I did wear these, so it is dirty. I did want to give these a couple of wears prior to reviewing this, just so I can give you guys a good, accurate review and take on how I feel about them. So far, I really, really like these. As far as aesthetics goes, I do wish maybe the holes were a little bit smaller, but in terms of functionality, the breathability on these is top notch, especially compared to some of the other models in this sort of range of clog slash mule. Um, they have really, really great breathability. You can easily wear these with no socks. Uh, I'll probably most likely be wearing them with no show socks. That's what I feel like they look best with, in my opinion. Um, obviously, these lean more towards an athleisure type of look. Uh, not something that I would really dress up. Definitely more of a casual shoe. Probably won't be wearing these with jeans much, but I will get, give you guys a look at that just in case you guys might potentially want to do that. And that'll give you a better feel for how this shoe might look on feet. So I'll give you guys a couple of looks with shorts, jeans, pants, socks, etc. Yeah, we'll definitely get into that. And the sizing, I believe these only come in whole sizes. I ended up going true to size, which is a size 10 and they fit fine. I would say if you're half size, I would recommend going to the nearest size up. I wouldn't recommend sizing down in these.
So for the box it comes in, super simple. Um, I don't know if this is recycled material or what, but I believe on the box it says that this is sustainably made as far as the packaging goes. The shoe box is the exact box that it gets shipped in. So the shoes just come directly in here. There is no outer box on top of that. So as far as that goes, pretty sustainable. And the shoe itself is made out of sh sugar cane, apparently. So um, they manufacture this in Brazil out of sugar cane. It's a renewable material. So uh, pretty, go pretty good as far as that goes. And I believe the company also donates 1% of their profits to environmental nonprofit organizations. So I didn't look too far into that, but it is nice to know. I'm sure they have more details about that on their website. So I'll probably be checking that out later as well. Retail on these drones was $70, which I would say is worth it overall. No regrets as far as this purchase goes. I think it's a perfect shoe for the summer. Uh, you guys who have been watching my videos know I'm in Florida, so realistically, this is a perfect shoe for me. I could even take it sockless to the pool or the beach, which is a major, major plus for me. Um, the shoe did come with extra little laces back here. There's no real functional purpose as far as I can tell from the laces. I ended up just taking them out, but it is worth noting that they come with two extra colors other than the ones that come on the shoe. This one came with black, but again, I just took those out. So if you're in the market for this type of footwear, maybe you're not a huge fan of Crocs, maybe you don't wanna pay resale prices on foam runners, or you're not a fan of their silhouette either, this could be a really good option for you guys. This is what I ended up going with. Also on their website, they do carry quite a few different colorways. Some of the nicer colorways are in scattered sizing, but they'll probably be restocked at some point. This is not like a super sought after pair of footwear or anything like that. There's no hype as far as I'm aware around these. So it shouldn't be that hard to find. If they don't have your size, I would just keep checking back periodically. I think for this colorway specifically, when I first looked, they didn't have a size 10. Maybe like a week or two later, I checked again and they had it available and then I just pulled the trigger. Let me know down in the comments how you feel about these. Interesting shoe, right? Uh, we don't really know how long this quote unquote trend is going to last, but anytime I can get clothing or footwear that is functional, I'm always open to doing that. These fit that bill really well. That's really all I have for you guys today. Peace.